so back at the beginning of 2020, before 2020 got 2020, I have mentioned in other videos that I got injured and was looking for ways to not only get physically back in shape, but I needed something for uh, physical therapy for my, my hand and other things. And that got me seriously back into the martial arts, specifically and especially Japanese swordsmanship. And I've also discussed my problems finding decent swords uh, in my career in the, in the 80s and 90s and, and seeing all the wonderful things out there. So some of my early purchases, I'll put out a couple of videos because a lot of my videos seem to be like super positive and people wonder, you know, do I ever... Do I ever get garbage? Yeah, sometimes I do because, you know, I, I make a bad choice or I initially didn't really know what I was doing, you know, because I'd never seen some of these things. I didn't do enough research, but the purchases weren't terribly expensive. So one of the things I took a chance on that was not expensive, I went for a cheaper option and it wound up being kind of a mixed roll of the dice, was uh, buying myself a new Tonto. And this is from Yong Li, one of those random, you know, Chinese forges that's out there. And I got it from our favorite 2020 website for buying stuff and getting it sent to your door pretty fast. So, very interesting mixed bag of what I received for about $100 and change. So, what it's advertised at is a 12-inch t10 differentially tempered blade so let's start with with the really good the blade is really good the the moment the temper line is just gorgeous all the planes are nice and even and yes it is a nice hard sharp tanto blade now it also has this rather interesting sculpted habaki that I, I have on some of my other swords that I've gotten recently, which I thought was visually interesting. And it's kind of a mixed bag. It makes for a, a rough lockup with a saya. It's almost like a file, so eventually it'll wear out the mouth of the of the saya and needs some adjustment and can can be very snug. But it's it's visually attractive. So on the good side, for a hundred and something dollars, I got a pretty impressive blade which is also double pinned so it's got a full tang now the parts of it that are are not so good the uh the ray skin is glaringly fake uh rubbery stuff but again for the price what do you expect the uh the dragon manuki on here is also a really almost plastic looking casting so that's not terribly attractive so i may change that out the uh the wrapping is a synthetic it's it's reasonably well done i don't have any complaints about that but the profile of the of the suka is it's just very straight nothing special to say about it again if i'm if i'm going to go in and replace the sami i will probably reshape the handle itself the castings are very simple basic die cast black painted i've seen these on a lot of the cheaper swords and they're they're just fine again i, I may select something nicer for it down the road because the, the blade is worth it and and then you get to the suba which is a, a musashi suba i think it's a little bigger it's smaller than a full-size guard uh, on a sword but that basic musashi design I, I think it's a little big for a tanto so i may change it when it came to me matching the rest of the fixtures it was a plain black painted affair that it's actually pretty beefy but it was ferrous so what i decided to do is strip off the paint and it took a little doing but lo and behold there was iron alloy or steel or something underneath it so what i did with this thing is i just kind of hammered on it a little bit to give it more of an antique look and then i blued it and now i'm a little bit more happy with it of course it doesn't match the rest of the fixtures as well the size is, is a, it's a basic wood sire it, it does have some nice brass sheeted dome um and it's got this really odd sort of water paint job, immersion paint job, which um, I'm still not sure. It's different. I don't know if I like it or not. It fits the blade certainly well enough, so that's not a problem. But yeah, I may repaint it. It's a little loose in there. It's not, not the best fit affair, but that can also be adjusted. So roll of the dice, I feel like I got for $100 and change a decent project sword. Um, the blade's nice. I don't know if I would specifically look for any more products from that particular forge, but you know, I think I got a reasonable deal, and um, yeah, who knows what I can make out of it. So if I do decide to make something different out of it, I'll, I'll do an update video later. But I hope you found this informative and entertaining, and I hope to see you again.